Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. C is all about your content settings, so let's take a look. When you're sending out emails using Dynamics 365 for marketing, you've got to have a customer journey each time. So for each customer journey, you can also determine what the content settings are that will be used for the entirety of the journey and you can set it on um, your emails as well. So your content settings hold things like the organization's address, social media links, subscription center, and a link for forwarding to a friend. So we can use these content settings to also make sure that we've got links to our social media profile. So there's a lot going on with the content settings. So let's go ahead and take a look. In the marketing templates area, we have a link for content settings and you will always have a default content settings record set up because it comes out of the box when you start using the marketing app. So if we go into it, what will happen is when you actually set up Dynamics Marketing, you are prompted to submit your address. So your actual physical address that has to go on the bottom of all of your emails. So that will be there already. And then what we'll also have is there has to be a default subscription center. So that will be filled out too. So if we want to go ahead and make some changes, we can go ahead and click edit at the top and we can edit that record. And what we can do is we can fill out additional information. So one of the things that makes sense is using the content settings for our social media profile links. So what I can do is I can go ahead and I can set and say, okay, LinkedIn, this is the URL for LinkedIn. Go ahead and put in Twitter and we can go ahead and I can put in YouTube as well. So what I can do also is we've got our subscription center in there. That is a default one. We could change that if we had a marketing form that we'd set up and actually embedded in our own domain or in our own website. Instead of having this dynamic link that would take us to a specific marketing page, we could go ahead and just paste a direct link into a page on our website. What we can also do is if we've got a marketing page we're using for forward to a friend, if I click on this little icon here, I can then go ahead and say, okay, well, this is static content. So this is a value, a fixed value that w won't change. So I need to say, okay, the entity or the record type that this is linked to, it's a marketing page. And then I could go ahead and say, it's the forward to a friend marketing page that I want to use. So we can set that up and we can say this is the full page URL and we can insert that in there. So now we've got this set up and we're able to then actually use these content settings and pull from the content settings when we're on an email. So if I go ahead and save that, I can add in additional content setting records. So if you've got uh, multiple branding, so maybe you actually have several different types of products or services that you provide and they have their own social media links or there's different addresses, that kind of thing. You could set up more than one content set setting record. Now, if I go into one of my emails, so if I go into the marketing emails area, um, let's go into this one that is already in draft. So if we scroll down to the bottom, what we can see is at the bottom here, it actually is using the um, address main and address line two on here. And those are actually pulling from the, um, the information that we've got in that content settings area. And those are required or the address main is required to be on there. Um, we also have unsubscribe as well and that is required to be on there. So if I go ahead and I actually, um, let's remove this one and let's remove that one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually um, check and see if this has um, got everything that it needs to, to have on there. So let's go ahead and check for errors. Because I've taken that out, we can see here that this um, both versions of the message, HTML and plain, don't include the legal physical address from the content settings. So if we don't have that in there, and also if we don't have our own subscribe, we're going to get that as an error. So what I can do is if I come back down to this area and we'll go back onto this line, and if I now click on personalization, and what I can do is dynamic content. I can say I want to pick from the content settings area 
and I want to get a field from the content settings. And what I'm going to do is pull in the address main line. So that's the one that I just removed. So we can see there that it's going to pull that. And what I could also do is at the top, maybe I might want to add in, um, let's pull something here. And here, what I could do is add in my forward to a friend. So I can do the same thing, pull from the content settings, select a field from the content settings, and then select that forward to a friend link. So we can go ahead and we can actually add those in. They are then going to pull from the content settings. So if we make changes to the content settings directly, we won't have to worry about going and modifying all of the emails that we've got set up already. It's going to be pulling from that information. So C is for content settings. Make sure you've got your setup. Make sure the information is accurate and use them to your advantage. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.